Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with 2023 Hit Parade Football Autographed Limited Edition Series 27 Dual Case Break Number 1. Uh, as most of you know, some of you didn't, but as most of you know, each case, 10 boxes each, 20 boxes total. You know, one car per box, some really nice stuff. That's uh, potentially what we can get out of here. Big thanks to this group for getting in on the action. There are all the teams right there. Congrats again to the people who won their spots in that Mosaic football pack, number 45. All right, let, now let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a five, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We got Chad B down to Lucas after nine. Four and a five, nine times. Well, if you've seen one, Jan, then it must be true. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Seattle down to Kansas City. Chad with the Seahawks, Justin with the Colts, Matthew with the Bears, Matthew with the Packers as well, Andrew with the Jets, Damian with the Panthers, Alan with the Steelers and Bills, Mark with the Vikings, Michael with the Niners, Ryan with the Commanders, Stephen K with the Titans, Scott with the Texans, Carl with the Cowboys, Matthew with the Rams, Karen with the Saints, Carl with the Cleveland Browns, Tristan with the Buccaneers, Tana with the Lions, Adam with the Falcons, Damian with the Dolphins, Kyle with the Broncos, uh, Raymond with the Eagles, Adam with the Jags, James with the Giants and my Raiders, Tyler with the Ravens, Andrew with the Bengals, Aaron with the Patriots, Scott with the Chargers, Damian with the Cardinals, Lucas with the Kansas City Chiefs. All right, that was nine times, nine times, and four and five is nine. Just making sure <clears throat> I got that right. All right, let's alphabetize by team, and we're going to pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done, TWC trade window closed. So thanks everybody for hanging with me on a Thursday. Thanks everybody. Dual case breaks, so we're gonna do case 10 of 10 and this one's one of 10. Series 27, limited, autographed, NFL. Good luck everybody. Good luck. First one out of the gate will be, it's gonna be Daniel Jones. 60 out of 75. Rookie autograph Daniel Jones. That's gonna go to James and the Giant Peach. What are they gonna do with Saquon? I feel like the Raiders are waiting to see what New York does with Saquon before they figure out what they're gonna do with uh, Josh Jacobs. Just sign Josh Jacobs. I know it's tough, the running back value is not that great, but it can't not have him. Staying in New York, this time Jets, Garrett Wilson. 38 out of 99, rookie jersey and autograph from Limited, Andrew. With the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. We got a book. Book it. It's James Cook. It's a cookbook. Rookie signature locker, five out of 25. 
a James Cookbook from Playbook. That's for Alan Matsui and the Bills. Buffalo! Right, yeah. I think that was just a one-year deal, maybe. I think he wants a multi-year deal, which is, you know, job security. John Mechie the third to one forty-nine. That's for the Texan. That's for Scott. Josh Jacobs is in a similar position. They franchise tagged him, but they didn't. He did not has not signed the franchise tender. holding out for a long-term deal, which is what Saquon's going to do. It's about job security. Does he want to go and win something? Well, if he wants to win, he'll take far less money and tell tell the front office, hey, make sure you put it, make sure you evenly distribute that money to improve the team as much as possible. It's Michael Vick, flashback, autographs to seventy five. Adam with the ATL, the Dirty Birds. Take one to the Bears. All right, that's definitely a sign of him not wanting to win. Bears are a little ways away. Now the running back shelf life, unfortunately, is, is quite short on average. A lot of running backs want to try to get as many years as possible in their deal. There's Travis Etienne Jr., dual relic and autograph. Jaguars, that's going to be for Adam Kupperman. You don't think they have a chance to prove something this season? I mean, I suppose. But I don't know how much drastic improvements they made in the offseason. I think they're still a number of years away. I think Justin Fields will be great. But I think it'll just be... I mean, that offensive line still an issue. I'm not sure if their wide receiving core is really, what do we have there? Do we have running backs? So Justin Fields doesn't have to run very often. There's the defense. There's Jalen Waddle. Nice. 2021 Prism Autograph. Jalen Waddle, PSA 9. But if he, if he wants to win, I mean, then... Damien with the Dolphins. If he wants to win, he should be going to the Dolphins. That would be a good team to, to, to go on. I don't know how that would work, though. He'd have to sign the franchise tender and then... Because I think the Giants still have the rights to him, unless they trade him. <laughs> Frank... Frank is saying that uh, his fantasy team, the Go Long Dongs, they need to improve this year, yeah. Frank, you as the owner of the of the Long Dongs, what a, uh, you know, the onus is on you as the owner and general manager. You're on the hot seat. What are the Go Longs going to do this year? Frank, You t can you tell us what you're going to do to improve this team for all fans of the Go Long Dongs who have been lifelong fans following the team, ride or die? Derek Carr, Raiders. Raiders also have a long way to go. James O with the Raiders. Uh, tell us, Frank, as owner and GM, what are you what are you doing? Depends on where you land in the draft. Have you been, uh, you know, have you been improving the facilities? Have you increased the scouting the budget for the scouting department? You know, we that's things we want to know. What about that practice facility? 
don't don't you think we should bring that practice facility up to the uh, up to 2023 standards? You mentioned the Raiders are waiting to see what the Giants do. If you want to, I'm not sure the Raiders are the team to go. No, 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 no. You, not surprisingly, Rex, you have misunderstood me. They have a similar situation in their running back, Josh Jacobs, who has also been offered the franchise tag like Saquon Barkley. So if Saquon Barkley ends up signing a multi-year deal for X amount of dollars, that may set the tone as to what a contract that they can offer their running back, the Raiders running back, Josh Jacobs. Raiders are probably hoping that it'll be a lower contract that Saquon accepts. So then negotiation-wise, the Raiders can look at the Giants and be like, see, Josh Jacobs, he accepted this much. We got Christian Watson, two-color patch and autograph, 46 out of 49. No, the Raiders don't need Saquon Barkley. They already have Josh Jacobs. Matthew Slade with the Packers. Yeah, so I think that's what the Raiders are hoping for, Rex. Like if, if, what's the word? No, my brain is a little foggy today. Um, I guess set the market. They're waiting for Saquon, the Giants hopefully to set them. I mean, in fact, the Giants might be waiting for, might be waiting for the Raiders to set the market so they can offer Saquon a certain amount. Those are the two kind of main running backs that are that are sort of in limbo at the moment. So it's a game of chicken. Eric Dickerson, four out of twenty for the Blue Horseshoes. It's for Justin and the Colts. Duncan's a Saints fan, not on the side of the car acquisition. Whoa. Who would you have rather had? What other uh, elite quarterback options were available? You could just ride with Jameis Winston? I don't know if Jacobs can leave. I'm not sure how that how that particular situation works. I think he's he would have to be released by the Raiders. Because they would still retain the rights to him. So it's not like if he, if he just holds out and doesn't sign a contract, I don't think he suddenly becomes a free agent. Did I, did I say elite? That was my, my, my Derek Carr Raiders bias still seeping through. And he's a middle of the, middle of the road quarterback, right? He's an upgrade. That's, that's, the, that's the thing. 12 out of 49, Alexander Madison. Do you think the... Uh, it goes to Mark and the Vikings. Do you think the Saints were a Aaron Rodgers away? I feel like Green Bay was never going to trade Rodgers to an NFC team, though. <laughs> yes, I do remember that. <laughs> Teams were waiting on the market to get set, and then Christian Kirk was that the Jaguars gave Christian Kirk a ton. He had a fine. I feel like he had a decent season. Here is Jalen Waddle, lightning strike autograph. Nice, nineteen out of twenty-five for Damian. The Dolphins. Deshaun Watson messed the Browns messed up the quarterback market. And probably somewhat directly led to all that the the uh, drama between the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. There is Desmond Ritter, 22 out of 150, rookie endorsements autograph. Nice one. Adam, Dirty Birds. Yeah. 
back and forth on that Derek Carr decision that the that the Raiders made. I don't know who else. I mean, is Jimmy Garoppolo a significant upgrade to Derek Carr? Maybe if he's healthy, but Derek Carr has been a horse. You know, while Jimmy Garoppolo has been oft injured. It's not like, I don't know, quarterback, <laughs> breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, quarterbacks, hard to find. And we got vested veterans jersey and autograph, Christian McCaffrey. 17 out of 20, Carolina edition for Damien. The good news, though, is that Derek Carr has some system familiarity with uh, Dennis Allen being the head coach. They've worked together before. All right, next up is, is DeAndre Hopkins, rookie DeAndre Hopkins. Wow, nice, 40 out of 499. Jersey and autograph, RPA, from Certified Football. Texans, Scott, Scott E. Scott E with the Texans. Has DeAndre Hopkins signed anywhere? I don't think so, right? I feel like we would have heard something about that. Uh, Scott was originally not happy about the Texans, but now I'm good. That's exactly why. That's why this hit parade stuff, you can't really count out. You know, if you get a quote-unquote bad team. Still can't count it out. Thick, it's a book. It's for the Steelers. It's George Pickens from Playbook. 34 out of 99. Let's take a look. Pittsburgh, that's going to be Alan Matsui. Nice. Two color patch. Nice on card autograph. Looks like he's being quarterback right there. Really? Maybe I maybe I don't know. I don't I I don't really uh look around. We do a lot of it though. I'm sure there's other breakers that do a lot of this too. <coughs> All right, we've got some obsidian football coming up. It is Kenneth Walker, the third for the Seahawks, rookie auto. For the Hawks of the Sea, Chad B to 199. And if you like uh, if you like Obsidian, Obsidian basketball in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Like that? ABC. Always be closing, ladies and gentlemen. Obsidian basketball, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Yeah, we like the hit parade. It's, a, it's usually a fun break, you know. Uh, we've we we know the guys that kind of spearhead this project. They seem to be good dudes. It's Cooper Cup jersey and autograph four hundred ninety nine. We've done some exclusives with them. I think you know these repack procs are nice because they're just really an easy way to add some nice stuff very quickly to your collection without going through a full group break. Easy to break, easy to ship. The sorting and shipping team loves these. Easy for them. Yeah, Dave and Adams breaks Hip Parade because they make Hip Parade, Jan. Yeah, maybe maybe when the football season and or basketball season rolls around, we can do another giant uh, giant hit parade mixer. Ooh, speaking of the Raiders, 
There's Bo Jackson, 13 out of 15. Moments autograph. Bo knows. Bo knows James O. And the last one. Twentieth and final box. Good luck, everybody. And keep your eye out for more hit parade on jazbeescasecrates.com. Ah, Jan knows. Oh, we were being Captain Obvious again. Or maybe that was AI Jan. There it is Christian Watson. Jersey and autograph for the Packers. 42 out of 299. Matthew with the Packers. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was a nice break. Oh, there's a wax party invite here as well. Nice. So let's gather everybody's names, 1 through 32. So in addition to the nice hits, a chance at a wax party invite. I try to put chance and wax together. I got chacks out of there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Name on top after three. We'll get an invite. We're starting to run out of invites, so get in while you can. One, two, and third and final time. So a lot of sad faces here. Only one really happy face, and that's going to be very close, Damien. But it's going to be Andrew with the spot that you won in the filler after three times. Your name's on top. You've got an invite to the wax party. Congrats. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.